by popular demand we are back on ticket moon planes and for a change of pace we're going to be using the 338 lapua on some of the biggest animals way the hunter has to offer so i'm sure it comes as no surprise we're going to be starting off with some cape buffalo and there's a two-star mature up there about 260 out and i'm really not sure we've ever used the lapua on a cape so we're going to see about how well this does did an is drop. Do we have some aggressive ones or is that all fleeing? Yeah, we definitely have some aggressive ones. Gonna go ahead and reload this. Probably we shouldn't just start shooting stuff, but I think only because we brought this weapon today. We're gonna take whatever comes over here. Would've helped if we hit him in the head. That'll work. I think that's a female. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, I don't know if we're gonna get all of them then. Especially if we shoot the ground. Probably ought to just let those go, otherwise we're going to be tracking forever. So what, we ended up getting three because that one survived that shot? This one. Yeah, first shot was too high. Got a little bit of spine and then skull on the second one. That was 70%, so maybe not the best thing, but not terrible. And I didn't know this. Even for Kate Buffalo, it's still a four-star hunt rating. Oh, I guess if you shoot them twice with the Lapua. That one was fine. 5 star heart rating on the female and then how far did our mature go and it may have been a good thing that we did shoot him with the lapua because i kind of forgot to mark the blood maybe because we had like five of them coming after us he was a 47 percenter so that was a good thing and actually just out of curiosity still even as it gets into the near side lung it's already below the recommended energy that shows just how tough the k buffalo are but I think that's probably the rest of the herd sitting out there. We'll leave them alone. But the cool thing about this hunt's gonna be, it's been so long since we've been on Tickamoon Plains, it's almost gonna be like starting fresh. There's not any particular animal that we're going after, no one thing we're trying to age. We're just gonna kind of wander around and there could be some good stuff out here. We put quite a lot of hours into managing our herds over the months that we played. So one thing I'm sure we've never done is shoot a lion with the Lopua. We've got a one-star mature. He's a younger mature for certain. You can see beside him, this one with the darker mane, which is a two-star mature, obviously is a little bit older. But the thing is, I would imagine he's got better genetic potential. So we still want the younger mature. It's the one laying down there. I mean, I'm going to assume this can punch through. Didn't insta drop him, which kind of surprises me. But he's going to go down. So it got into a lung. Lions are a class 6 animal, so I'll be curious to, to go and see where that hit and how well the round performed. Kind of shows their toughness, though. I almost wonder if we maybe hit, like, artery or something? Because there's a ton of blood. But he still made it pretty far. Now, it was single lung. I mean, we got some artery damage. 250 yards away. Pretty much hit about where we'd want to, considering he was laying down like that. That'll be fun to, wow, 15%, I would say we made the right choice. That'll be fun as we go along, just to kind of see, you know, if we get more opportunities with the 338, maybe broadside see what double lung does. I didn't really know they were that tough. I thought that was going to drop. Now, that was the one thing. I did remember having a four-star spring buck, and I wanted to go and see if we could find it. Pretty encouraging he's still around, and that'll maybe be something we can try to work towards in this hunt. See if we can pass an age cycle or two, and maybe if he gets to five star. Is there anything in here, then, that we could maybe take out in the meantime? Like, there's a one star adult. We're going to have to try to look for uneven horns, I would think. And actually, he has them. I'm not sure how well we can see it. Four star looks good, by the way. And that's a mature female, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, like his left horn has a, a pretty decent hook. The right one has none at all. Let's try to get him. If we have any breath, let's try to get him. That should work. 30 out 6 does a pretty good job on Springbuck. And now that we're up close, you can see a lot better what I was talking about. Gotta imagine he is at least fairly low genetic potential. Little high hit him in the spine as well as the left lung, but that'll get the job done. 61% I'd say for this area is a good thing to remove. We're going to keep on scooting up through here at some point. I wonder if that's that same Pride Alliance. It might be, but at some point, I do want to try to use the Lapua, whether it's Springbok or one of the other smaller species, 
I want to try to get a double kill today, but in that case, especially with a herd that's got good genetics and a four star, I didn't really want to risk it there. That is, by the way, not the same pride. Because that older mature is a one star like in the previous one, and he could even have worse genetics, but kind of broadside ish here. Let's see what happens. Still no drop shot, but he immediately went into stumbling, at least I thought he did. I'm pretty sure that I got vital. That's impressive. I was kind of under the impression that we'd be just insta-dropping everything. At least maybe other than Cape Buffalo. That, like, we hit the heart. Just cavity damage. But significant damage to the heart basically grazed it. Only got the one lung. Look how quickly it drops off, too. Like, they really are tough. 22%, man. We are getting rid of some really poor line genetics as we go along. And learn a little bit about just how tough some of these species are. Well, that's kind of a bummer. We literally rested once here, saw a couple things that I didn't recognize in other areas, came back, and I'm pretty sure our four-star Springbuck died of old age. So kind of unfortunate there. Got a one-star mature that we can maybe try to take out since we're here. And I don't know that we should take the time to try to line up some kind of crazy shot at the moment. So let's just go ahead, use the 30 out six, and even that actually didn't drop it. Gonna go down pretty quickly. But I had high hopes for that one. We still don't have a five-star spring bug, and they look really good. I'm gonna have to rely on another one somewhere else if we want to get one. And I guess at least on the bright side, taking away something like this maybe gives future ones in that herd a chance. 37%. Pretty subpar, considering we had one obviously at least pretty decent in there. I have spent an unreasonable amount of time trying to get that perfect shot for the 338. And in the meantime, still trying to check other spots as we know an age cycle has passed. I was just thinking though, Hyena might be perfect. That's a two-star mature male there. So if he walks in front of another one, or if maybe one walks in front of it, that almost could work. But it's gonna have to be so perfectly lined up. Maybe like that? We hit them both. Is either shot lethal? I can't see. So the first one we shot was a female. It's going down. I can't see any more blood, but they both reacted. Not the ideal thing to shoot a female, but I really wanted to try to do that. And at the... Whoa. What just happened? <laughs> Hang on. If that's not the one that we shot, which I don't think it is, did it... <laughs> did it run into the UTV and die? It did. <laughs> I didn't know that that could happen. It was a 65% adult. I don't care <laughs> what negative effects may have happened because we just shot a female hyena. That was worth the price of admission. Oh my goodness. And also, clarification, the two-star mature is going to survive that shot. So what I want to do is just kind of see what the energy looks like, having gone through the second lung of the hyena, the first one, and just see, you know, is it even reasonable to try to get a double kill with them? They're decent size. The female ones, I, I think, are something like 200 pounds, the mature ones anyway. So we'll have to see, but maybe we got to focus on Springbuck and I don't even know. Warhogs are so tough, even though they're small models. And even like the female hyena, it ran pretty far. 250 yards or so. A little far forward, but of course we were trying to line it up to hit the, the male behind her. The energy is fine. Like, as it hit the away side shoulder, or rib bone actually that was, there was still enough energy to meet that recommended part that should have been able to kill the other one. I wonder, can we find him? I should have paid more attention to where he went. I'd like to know, was it actually just bad shot placement? Because according to that, I actually think it should work, but... I wonder where... Well, what are the odds? Could it be these? Okay, it's that one. It's about 250 out, and I guess we used the proper weapon. Not as if it really makes a difference now. Hard to tell what's going on with the heat haze. That should work, especially since he's already hit. 
didn't seem like he was moving very fast. Hopefully, at least that's going to take him down. Actually, again, not a good enough hit. So we're going to have to find him a third time. And even though he's hit twice, I think in this case, we'll just go with a little Pua. I just want to know what the energy was. So forever later, we've got this two-star mature, which I hope is the right one. I'm going to try to just get a shot with the Lapua. The fact that he just tanked that and he's been hit a couple of times is crazy. But he's going to go down and we can at least see if that's even reasonable. So all of that, only to find out we weren't even close to just having the shot align. We hit him like almost through the ear or something. Well, we didn't learn much, but I guess in theory it's still possible then. So we are going to try to line this up. There's a one-star mature there. And an even older one-star mature there. I don't know how likely it is those two specifically line up. But we're going to see if we can get something to work. We're so close to these. The energy should be about as good as it could be from the Lapua. And hopefully it can find its way through. There's so many one-star matures. Like, this is just a not good genetic herd anyway. Might be the ideal situation. This really isn't perfect, but I think we're going to try it. Oh, no way. <laughs> Double drop. I wasn't even sure if that was possible. So when we really get it lined up, it absolutely can be done. And I was thinking, because I had plenty of time to sit here and wait for something to happen. That hyena, if that had hit it a little lower into the skull, it probably would have just insta-killed it. We were closer maybe than it looked on that first try. So only because I'm pretty sure this is the first time we've done it with big game animals. We've had like a triple kill on Helmet of Guinea Fowl, for instance. Just going to get a little photo here. I'm going to say that'll be good. So I think what we ended up shooting, if I'm not mistaken, is a one-star young and a one-star mature. Pretty sure this was the one in front, because it looks like he was walking. Double-lunged him. 56%. Pretty much exactly what we want to take out. And then hopefully this ends up being okay. That's double-lunging artery. Like, look. Still plenty of energy, much like in the case of the hyena. To where we could have maybe even gotten a third one. It would have been dicey at best. That is 32%. Oh, that was a mature too. Literally perfect. Good deal. Alright, we can stop screwing around and doing that. Wasted uh, a good amount of time today, but considering we had the hyena run into our UTV and die, and then we actually got the double kill, I don't know if it's really a waste of time as much as an expenditure. There is no way. Finally, another 5-star Blue Wildebeest. Our first 5-star on Moon Plains was a Blue Wildebeest, and we haven't been able to get another one since. They, I think, because we spotted this campsite, they must have been too close, backing up. One of them called, turn around and just see bicycle handlebars for horns. So they are tier 6. We definitely need to try to get that with the Lapua. That's been the entire point of today's hunt. I haven't called or anything. They're just walking this way. That is absurd. Just the size of that. If he'll continue that way, he'll just end up broadside. Even though I think the Lapua can punch through, we might as well wait for an ideal opportunity. Like, look at him. That's a mature back there, I think. The size difference is literally insane. I think probably once he clears this brush, that'll be broadside enough. And he's definitely right around 100 yards. He even turned a little more broadside. When he comes out from behind here, we should be good to try to take him out. Finally a drop shot from the Lapua. And I think it's going to be the final shot of the day. A really good looking five-star blue wildebeest. And after all the screwing around, passing time, trying to get a spring buck to line up or a hyena or whatever for a double kill, we end up with another 5-star and a pretty good looking one at that. Maybe not as good looking in the photo? Coming to the side like this to basically hide the fact that horns underground just sort of makes the head and neck look a little bit odd. But anyway, what do we have for this guy? A little far back. How do we shoot that far back? It was lung and liver 88 yards. Jeez, that's a little concerning. Either way, it got the job done. 93% or so, not bad. They, even though they're tier 6, 
That is a four-star hunt rating to shoot one with the Lapua. I was curious if there would be any others like that, and I kind of forgot to check it after those Cape Buffalo at the beginning. 476. Not too bad. So we're going to tax him and take him back to the Trophy Lodge. And I think that's going to be pretty cool finally getting another one in there. And hopefully we can work more with that herd. Like, if we come back for a future hunt, that weaker genetic male that was behind our 5-star, probably a good one to take out. So I kind of prefer the pedestal mounts for the blue wildebeest compared to the ones on the wall. So let's put him there. And it's one of the only things we have on the left side of the lodge. Like that Cape Buffalo, I think is a five star. The hyena and the lion are just placeholders. Everything else we have over on that side. But I wanted that pedestal mount kind of completed. They just, they're one of my favorite five stars on this map. Like I said, just handlebars for horns and a pretty cool way to wrap up our return trip here to Tikamoon Plains and our little bit of experimentation with the Lapua. So anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.